Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, and our ongoing study in Paul and the Faithfulness of God by N.T. Wright. We're going to do our recall triad now for pages uh, 351 to 371 on the mindset of Paul the Apostle. If you take a look at block one, we're going to look at praxis action. We begin with fusion through ministry and its actions. Paul would form a newly fused worldview. Replacement, uh, it began by a fundamental shift in theology where the temple was replaced by the notion of residing in Christ. It was new. It also began with the realization that something new had happened in Christ. Covenant renewal had arrived in the resurrected Christ on the Damascus Road. And we know that Paul entered straight away into uh, Praxis ministry. That led to block two, Samion sign reflection. Paul's new confrontation demanded new theology, demanding newly written signs, and these included Ecclesia, Ages, Doxa, Cornerstone, and Israel. The external signs of table, circumcision, and Sabbath also needed to be redefined. Table had to be inclusive fellowship. Circumcision had to be of the heart. Sabbath had to become freedom from any legalistic calendar. The internal sign of prayer also had to be transformed as in the spirit took the place of uh, toward the temple. And it included a universality of groaning for all creation with God the Father. So this praxis action and this Samian sign reflection led to noose conviction. Fundamentally, praxis ministry and sign formation both contributed to Paul's reformulation of the meaning of spiritual inheritance, kleronomia, the eschatology of sovereignly ruled created order by the risen Christ as Lord. Kleronomia also implied spiritual attentiveness that needed to be given to the crisis call of Christ. And through our faithful participation, we do become a part of Christ's messianic family, knowing that Christ lives in us and through us, he dwells in us, in his spirit. So it's a great teaching from Professor Wright on the fact that uh, Paul's conviction of mindset was based on praxis, action, ministry, Samian sign, reflection, and rewriting of his previous signs that he held, which contributed to a fusion of a new noose mindset conviction. It really does become a very powerful um, lesson, and that's why I want to look at the, this, re, this uh, recall triad just one more time, just briefly. Block one, very important. He begins... He begins with uh, ministry. Paul entered into uh, Arabia immediately. He began with praxis action. And through this ministry, he would actually form a newly fused worldview. Basically, by positing the notion of residing in Christ. But he did realize that something new had certainly taken place in his encounter on the Damascus Road with the risen Christ, he recognized that covenant renewal had arrived. Covenant renewal had arrived. So as he ministered, he did enter into the rewriting of new signs, Samian signs in the Greek. Because that confrontation on the Damascus Road demanded new thinking, new theology, and newly rewritten signs. Ecclesia Church, the uh, coming age of righteousness, the return of the docks of glory, the cornerstone of the temple, and Israel all had to be redefined through the filter of Jesus Christ. The ex external signs had to be revised. The table had to be inclusive fellowship for all, for all humanity. Circumcision had to be of the heart, and the Sabbath could no longer be ruined with list after list of uh, um, rules and commandments 
Sabbath had to be freedom, free from legalistic calendar, free from all of those uh, restrictions on the Sabbath. And prayer had to be in the spirit, not toward the temple, but in the spirit. And that gave him a great conviction, a great mindset, and a rewriting and a re-evaluation of the meaning of spiritual inheritance. Because we are invited through the crisis call of Christ to participate in Christ's sovereignly ruled creative order, the kingdom. I was going to wrap up this uh, recall triad for pages 351 to 371.